The bomber struck a park popular with families. On this Easter Sunday, at least 65 are dead, more than 300 hurt. It happened in the usually peaceful city of Lahore, Pakistan's second largest city, which sits near the Indian border. Police said the blast took place near the children's rides early in the evening. Tonight, the White House is calling the attack appalling. A splinter group of the Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility, and we begin with Danielle Nottingham. A blast caused by an apparent suicide bomber ripped through this popular city park where Christian families gather to celebrate Easter Sunday. The explosion happened near these rides. Most of the dead were women and children. Families searched for their loved ones amid the chaos. This witness says he carried 20 children to the hospital and moved three bodies to a police car. At the time of the blast, he says children were on rides at the fairground. Dozens of bodies draped in sheets were carried into waiting ambulances at the scene. Local hospitals flooded with hundreds of casualties declared a state of emergency. The wounded were treated wherever there was space. The explosion happened as police clashed with demonstrators throughout Pakistan who were protesting what they believe was a political execution. The faction of the Taliban group claiming responsibility for Sunday's attack in Lahore said it deliberately targeted the Christian community and warned more attacks would follow. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles.